Rich and poor, lost and lonely within, but in wondrous compassion, the King of all kings, in pity and love, he took. Praise the Lord. Isn't it wonderful to be in the house of God this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Worship God in spirit and in truth. Today's Palm Sunday. I tell you what, what a great time in the Lord it's going to be. Amen. Hallelujah. We're entering into a, a beautiful season. And I tell you what, you say, well, the cross wasn't beautiful. Yes, it was because I tell you what, it was my salvation that he purchased on that tree. Amen. And that's what makes it so beautiful. Every one of us can be free. Hallelujah. Because of the cross. Hallelujah. Stand with me this morning. We're going to go to God in prayer. Make him welcome. I tell you what, we want to greet those that are viewing by the internet today. We say God richly bless you. Good to have you tuned in. And uh, we hope that you... Your needs will be met today. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we come to you today in the name of Jesus. We're so thankful again, Lord, for your love and your mercy and grace. Father, I pray this morning, God, that you would touch every heart and every life. Minister to every need, Father. Um, Lord, you see those that are viewing by the Internet today. God, just touch their needs. Lord, whatever they uh, Lord, have in today, God. Lord, it might be sickness. Lord, it might be uh, something mental or physical. Lord, whatever, God, um, spiritual God, Lord, meet their needs today. Lord, I pray today, God, that you would touch each and every one that's here. God, we welcome you here today. Lord, we praise you and give you glory. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place today. And Lord, we give you praise and honor and glory. Lord, don't let us leave here like we came but be changed in the name of Jesus. 
And we give you honor and praise and glory. For it's in Christ's name we humbly pray. Amen and amen. Worship with them this morning. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. And you are worthy of all praise. To you our hearts we raise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. The name of the Lord.
morning, let's just let the breath of God breathe on us. Mm. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. Holy Ghost. we all have illness and, and different needs that we need answered, then God is here to do it. All we got to do is step in by faith and receive what he has for us. Breathe on me, Lord. Breathe on me. Holy Ghost you glad the Holy Ghost can breathe on us? Amen. You want him to breathe on you this morning? Hallelujah. I tell you what I want you to do. I just want you to stand this morning. And I, I know we're quiet and all that, but let's just enter into the gates this morning and begin to worship God. Amen. Forget about everything on the outside. Forget about sickness and disease. Hallelujah. It's time to worship the Lord. Amen. Just lift your hands and begin to praise Him this morning. Father, we praise You. We glorify You. Lord, we exalt You today. Lord, You're holy. You're mighty. 
God, there's none like you, but you are uh, the great and almighty God this morning. We can praise you. We can glorify you. And we can thank you, Lord, for our breath today. We thank you, Lord, for the that we can walk into the house of God and worship you. Lord, we praise you today. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you what, I feel the touch of the Master's strong hand. Amen. Hallelujah this morning. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Just a couple of announcements. Remember, uh, Tuesday night um, is our... Uh, eat get together family get together over at Harbor Inn and you need to sign up uh, especially today because they need a count of how many it's going to be there so uh, Tuesday March 22nd at 630 so don't forget that and then Sunday April the 3rd is the uh, old friends quartet will be with us and so be much in prayer for that there's bulletins out on the vestibule back there, so please pick one up, and I know the Lord will bless you. Amen? Hallelujah. Brother Tom's going to come. Give us a special at this time. Praise the Lord. Today is Palm Sunday, and the Lord really dealt with me about singing this song. I hadn't sung it in a long time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is coming, church, soon and very soon. Go right ahead, brother. Praise his holy name. May need some volume. Thank you, Lord. All glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the sweet Lamb of God. Praise His holy name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Praise him. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. As our pastor comes. Hallelujah. This morning. Just worship him. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to come out uh, on the clouds of glory uh, with a shout, uh, with the voice of an archangel. Uh, aren't you glad we're soon leaving here? Hallelujah. You've got something to shout about this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, high upon a mountain to where he ascended in a Declared that it would be. He said, Don't stand here grieving. Well, for the one that you see leaving in like man, he's coming back, like he said. And I believe he's coming back.
think the time is nearing. Well, that will soon see his appearing. Well, this could be the hour. Oh, this could be the day. Well, when the saints of every nation gonna lose their gravitation. Well, in the middle of the air, be called away. And I believe he's coming back like he said. Oh, I believe that a trumpet's gonna sound so loud, gonna resurrect the dead. Well, in the twin. Since he is appearing, well, this could be the hour, oh, this could be the day. Well, when the saints from every nation were gonna lose their gravitation, well, in the middle of the air, be called away. reason for it's my only reason for being here if I didn't think he was coming back again well uh, uh, you know I'd be on the golf course or somewhere this morning I mean really you know but I believe he's coming back amen I believe he's coming back like he said there's no doubt in my mind he's he's promised us and he's coming back again come here come Judy let's sing this old song we used to sing many years ago it's, it's an old Mike Payne song, and this is, this is the Easter season. I want to bring a message to you this morning about Palm Sunday in a different way than you've, I've ever preached it. But uh, this, song, this song says, Come and See. We used, to sing this, we used to sing this song all the time, not even at Easter time, but it's just a wonderful song talking about coming. So let, let's, let's try it in the key of F. I said G, but let's go to F and see if I can't do it in F. Hallelujah. When I came to see the master, someone rolled away the stone. Saw the tomb was empty and my precious soul was gone. The angel said, why are you looking? Living among the dead, he's not here. He has risen, tell the others what I said. We'll come and see the tomb is empty. Come and see where he lay. Dead could not hold him. The grave. Now he lives and he reigns forever, and he's a coming back someday. Come and see the tomb is empty. Come and see where he lay. When I heard that he had risen, I doubted in my mind. So I run into the tomb just to see what I could find. You said, Why are you seeking? The living among the dead, he's not here. He has risen, tell the others what I said. 
will come and sing the tune me sing Come and see where he lay dead. Could not hold him, he has risen from the grave. Now he lives and he reigns forever. And he's coming back someday. Come and see the tune me sing Come and see where he lay. We'll come and see the tomb is empty. Come and see where he lay. You know death could not hold him. He has risen from the grave. Now he lives and he reigns forever. And he's a coming back someday. Come and see the tomb is empty. Come and see where he lay. Come and see the tomb is empty. Come and see where he lay. Amen, amen. Come and see. Hallelujah. Go to the, go to the King G. Praise God. Amen. He is so good today. It's, it's good to be in, in the house of the Lord on, on Palm Sunday. It's good to, good, good to know the presence of the Lord is in our midst. He said, where two or three are gathered in His name, there I am also. You know, isn't it wonderful that you can be out in a cow pasture somewhere with the Holy Ghost there with you and, and, and God is there? That, that, is, that is so good. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet and let's worship the Lord today. You know, when you, when you, when you stand up and, and uh, uh, worship the Lord, and as we do this, I like, I like what Pastor Wayne says down there. It's, it's just, just a little comical, funny thing. Uh, you, you carry, we carry around a lot of weight, so we're going to help you lighten the load this morning by, by bringing your tithe and your offerings. Now that's just a joke. Now, 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 now don't you know? Don't get me. You know, don't go and say it. But that's, I, I love Brother Wayne. Always jokes about that down there. So we'll help you lighten your load today. Just bring your tithe and your offerings today and worship the Lord as, as we sing this. This another Mike Payne song says, "Will some seek for wealth down here? Some seek for fame." I don't care if no one even knows my name. Well, I'm just a pilgrim here. Soon I'll be gone. Nothing can hold me here. I'm headed home. Well, I said nothing can hold me here. I'm headed home. Heavenly gates are near. It won't be long until I'm walking on streets of gold. Singing around God's throne, nothing can hold me here. I'm headed home. Well, if I should die down here before that trumpet sounds, when they lay this body in that cold, cold ground, well, you don't have to cry for me, don't sing no sad song. Nothing can hold me here. I'm headed home. Well, I said, nothing can hold me here. I'm headed home. Heavenly gates are near It won't be long Until I'm walking on streets of gold Singing around God's throne Nothing can hold me here I'm headed home Well now if I should die down here Before that trumpet sounds When they lay my body in that cold, cold ground You don't have to cry for me Don't sing no sad song can hold me here. I'm headed home. Well, I said nothing can hold me here. I'm headed home. Head on the gates are near. It won't be long until I'm walking on the streets of gold. Singing around God's throne. Nothing can hold me here. I'm headed home. Well, I said nothing can hold me here. Well, I'm headed home. Head on the gates are near. It won't be long until I'm walking on streets of gold Singing around God's throne Nothing can hold me here I'm headed home Hallelujah, yay My, 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 thank you Jesus Well, look way across the river All the people dressed in white, yes. Well, I knew it was God's people. Hallelujah. 
for they're doing all right. Hallelujah. Somebody said, ain't no grave going to hold me down. Because Jesus got up on the third day. <laughs> he conquered death, hell, and the grave. My Lord. Mm-hmm. Well, look way across the river. Saw the people dressed in white. Well, I knew it was God's people. They're doing all right. Well, there ain't no grave. Jesus, meet me, meet me in the middle of the air. Well, if my wings should fail, the Lord, I won't need another pair, because there ain't no grave. No grave. My, 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 no grave. We're going to hold my body down. Well, now look quick across the river. It's all the people dressed in white. Well, I knew it was God's people there. Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Give him praise today. Give him glory in the house today. Give him praise today. Glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless his holy name today. Bless his holy name today. Come on and welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Feel us with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Sing it again. Oh, welcome, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We are in your presence. Yes, we are. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me, for you are living water, never drying fountain, comforter and counselor, take complete control, yes, Lord Jesus, welcome, Holy Spirit, we are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise this wonderful name. You can be seated if you want. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to do this one more song this morning. Brother Vance, if you'll get it ready before I minister. God is so good. I just want you to know today that, that, that God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you even until the end of the world. So don't let anything that's going on in your life hinder you from going with Jesus, from pressing on, because He promised us heaven. Amen. He promised us heaven. And I, I love this song. I've sang it a few times, but I, I love this song. Go, go ahead, Brother Vance. It says, don't, don't that sound like heaven? Listen to the words. I want you just to close your eyes and worship the Lord today. Don't let anything distract you. There's a window into heaven. 
can close my eyes and see where there are no earthly struggles and the soul there is set free where the deaf and dumb are shouting crippled legs are dancing yes they are all around that crystal sea now there's a special place in heaven where those unborn babies play and they're rocked in arms by mamas Whose chance it slipped away All those unwanted children Say my daddy is the king Yes he is And there's smiles on all their faces <laughs> As they spin around and see Don't they sound like heaven Don't that sound like home Yes it does Where the Son of God is reigning And those tears are finally gone Don't that sound like heaven My Jesus Don't that sound like home There is overtaken <laughs> by the light that's always on. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord, my God. Jesus, Jesus. Will the price of heaven is expensive. Don't you worry about the cost Cause it was paid in full by Jesus <laughs> When he hung up on that old rugged cross my Lord. All those things he has promised Will be there just like he said For an eternal That precious, precious blood he shed. <laughs> oh, don't that sound like heaven? Don't that sound like home? Where the Son of God is reigning, my Jesus, and the tears are finally gone. overtaken by Jesus by the light that's always on darkness there is overtaken by the light that's always on there's a light that's always left on for you saints hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what overtakes every dark area in your life. Hallelujah. Don't it sound like heaven? God is so good. Remember all of those that are out sick today, that are not here. We just believe God is going to touch Heal and minister in a very special way. Yes.
yes, yes. Amen. Anybody else? Yes, remember her, remember her mother, Brother George. Clint. Okay. Remember, remember their grandson. Anyone else? So much, so much people are going through. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. All right, let's remember this mother to be. Anyone else today? So much sickness, so much pain, so much so many things people are going through. Sister Claudette. Yes, but brother brother Lynn, you got to go home, I think. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? It was, I think Friday, wasn't it? You got to go home Friday, but let's remember Lynn and Marty. Uh, M Mar Marty has really had a tough time also with her husband th th through this terrible, many, several situations together. But he, but he got to go home uh, Friday. But let's continue to remember, remember Marty and Lynn. Anyone else let's remember Brother, Brother Ben and Linda? Because he'd sent a message this morning that he'd, he wanted to be here, but he would hope to be here tonight. He was really, really sick this morning, really wasn't feeling well. Anyone else? Yes, sister. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's remember, remember Kevin. Someone else today. This is this is this is what I'm going to preach about this morning. Someone else. Again, let, let, let's remember. Um, let's remember our three amigos. They're not here today. Uh, maybe they have some family thing. Maybe their sickness. Maybe I don't know. Yes, yes, her mother and my, and my mother. Um, my, my mother is doing well. Let's remember her because we took uh, the hairdresser and gave her a, a, a haircut this week. And let's remember my mom. No, I'm just kidding about this now. You, you, something to laugh about. Let's remember my mom because my mom turned around and told her, said, you better leave my hair alone. And she kept cutting it. She said, quit, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. <laughs> it's because she had some tangles in her hair where she'd been laying around and it got matted up some and and the girl had to cut them out. But no, my mom's doing well, except, you know, just, just the dementia and stuff. Let's remember her. Uh, let's, let's remember uh, Claudette and Maxine's mother and, uh, and of course, Sister Brenda's mother. And, and uh, Anyone else ha have mother or anyone that, that, that's in a nursing facility or something like that? I'm, I tell you, we, we need to pray and lift them up because it's, it, it, it is a challenge uh, for the family, a challenge for those that, that, are, that, that are taking care of them. I believe God. God's still a, a prayer answer in God, don't you? Can we stand to our feet just one more time today? And let's, let's pray for all of these requests, all of our people. God, God gave me a word yesterday, and, I, I, and, and he gave it to me, and I'm not going to give it out in this detail. He gave me a word yesterday about, about the church, uh, a word that, that, that uh, came from nobody but him out, out, of, out of the Bible. I said, Lord, I need a word. I need a word. And he gave me a word. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I just want to encourage you today. When, when God gives gives you a word, you better look out. Something's getting ready to happen. He gives, He gave me a word yesterday, so I'm just saying, be encouraged in the Lord, because because we're getting ready to step over in, in into the into the promises of God. Don't be discouraged in any way. 
Hallelujah. Be encouraged. Father, we come to you today. Lord, you have heard every need, every request, Father. Lord, my, my, my brother, Junior, Lord, he, he's, he, he needs you today, Father. Uh, all, all of these other needs today, God, all of these requests, Father, mothers, Lord, children, uh, 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 family members, God, all of these, Lord, that, that need a touch in their body today, God, we speak the word of healing right now, God, into their body. Touch them today, Jesus. We give you praise. We come against the powers of Satan. We come against sickness. We come against disease, not in our name, but in the name that's above all names, in the name of Jesus. God, we speak life into these people's body today. We speak it today in the name of Jesus on the authority of the Word of God. Lord, that's that anointing that destroys every yoke of bondage today. God, rise up today inside of your people. Lord, in touch, heal and deliver and set free. And Lord, all of those ladies last night at the, at the prison that was asking for, for, for prayer, Lord. Lord, you know what they asked God. And Lord, thank you for ministering and touching their lives in a very special way. God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor for it today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the answer to these prayers. We give you glory. We give you honor for it. And the church said, amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Praise this wonderful name. Next Sunday, Easter Sunday. Remember, we'll, we'll, we'll just be having one service next Sunday, Easter Sunday morning service, no Sunday night service because of Easter. But, but bring, bring friends and neighbors if you can on, on Easter Sunday. Bring, bring whoever you can bring. Turn your Bibles with me this morning to the book of St. Mark, chapter number 11. Palm Sunday. We sing about it, the song Palms of Victory and Crowns of Glory, Palms of Victory I shall wear. We we sing songs about it. We we a lot of times churches and we have in the past get little olive branches and give to everyone resembling Palm Sunday. Uh, it's, it's it's a it's a very special day and a very special time. Because through through Jesus' life and through his ministry, this day that we're going to talk for just a few moments about this morning in his life led up to the final week, the final week before his crucifixion. I, I mean, Palm Sunday. And then the final week, I mean, Friday. My Lord. Friday. He was hung on a cross. But Sunday, he rose again. But Palm Sunday started out a a story that so many people have talked about. Through this through this next week, we have saw countless movies and stories made about the passion and about about uh, the crucifixion and about Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection and, 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 and about this uh, about the part of this next week which began at Palm Sunday. Something very special. Let's, let's read the story as we all know it so well. Out of St. Mark chapter number 11 verse 1 says, And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sendeth forth two of his disciples, and said unto them, Go your way unto the village over against you, and as soon as ye be entered in into it, ye shall find a colt tied, whereupon never a man set. Loose him, and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord hath need of him. And straightway he will send him hither. Now isn't that something? Isn't that something that how that how that God had already made a way? I'm going to go back and reiterate on this in a moment when I read it, but listen. And they went their way and found the colt tied by the door without 
uh, w w without any place. Where two ways met, and they loosed him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye? Or what are you doing, loosing the colt? Why are you loosing the colt? And they said unto them, even as Jesus had commanded. And in, in the other Gospels it reads, it, re, it reads that they, they told the man, because the master has need of him. God had already made a way. And they said unto them, even as Jesus commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way. And others cut down branches of the, off the trees. Now, it, now isn't that something? Let me stop right there. Because, because first it said, many spread their garments. So why, why, why didn't they call this Garment Day instead of Palm Sunday? Garment Sunday. Many, many cut, their, uh, cut, cut down branches off the trees and strew them in the way. And they that went before and they that followed cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the kingdom of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Just, a, just one more. And Jesus entered into Jerusalem and into the temple and when he had looked around about upon all things, and now the eventide was come, he went out unto Bethany with the twelve. I've got to turn this down. I don't have nobody here to do it. I've got to turn this down. I'm beeping and a bopping up here, so bear with me. Hallelujah. Jesus entered Jerusalem, but this time. Now think about all of the other times we read about Jesus coming into, into this city. This particular time, he stopped before entering the city. Stopped at Bethany. Stopped there at the Mount of Olives. I remember so well, Brother Tom, there at the Mount of Olives, when we were there several years ago, standing beside the same olive trees, those olive trees over 4,000 years old. Can you imagine? Now, I know we've got the giant redwood trees in California that are thousands of years old. But these olive trees, they told us we, when we were there, Brother Tom, I'm right, aren't I? They told us that they were over 4,000 years old. The same trees that Jesus went and walked right by. The same area that Jesus went, we'll talk about it in, in a moment. That Jesus went and prayed before they hung him on a cross, before they came and arrested him. But why did he stop there? Why did he pause and say, Go and find a man with a coat and bring the coat to me? Why did he do that? I want to just bring you this morning just my evaluation of this. Because every preacher can have an, a different perspective and a different idea of why. But you see, the Bible says that Jesus got on the donkey. He began to go into this town called Jerusalem. Just let the story seep into your mind today. 
They threw the blankets, the coats or whatever up on the donkey's back and Jesus gets up on the back. He begins to go down the street and they throw their coats, blankets again, palm tree branches down upon the ground. I believe that he is setting, listen at me now, listen at me. I believe in my heart that he was setting a scene for you and I. Everyone that had been born from the beginning until now and ever will be, he was setting up a scene. For us. Because we go through life carrying such a load. We go through life carrying, if you will, baggage all around us. We go through day after day, month after month, and year after year. With this baggage attached to us. When all the time we are so, so reminded of the one simple scripture Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But we still, let me just use my little, little bag right here as an example of, of baggage. Because we, we so get accustomed. And it becomes so a part of our life. The things. And when I'm talking about baggage, I'm talking about the cares of this life. That everyone, you cannot escape the cares of this life. You can't escape sometime being sick. You can't escape going through heartache. You can't escape losing a loved one. You can't escape being hurt by someone. You can't escape the sorrows and the pain and the suffering of this life. You cannot escape it. But God did not intend for us to carry it around with us day after day, year after year. To a lifetime of pain, lifetime of struggle. Because on this Palm Sunday, he began to set an example for you and I. As he rode that donkey, he was letting you and I know today when the load gets heavy, my Lord, my God, when the load gets so hard. He's already made a way for you. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to faint. You don't have to fret. You don't have to wonder. You don't have to carry around the baggage that you seemingly, it's so hard. It takes all of your energy. It takes all of your time because you're so engulfed with the baggage that you're carrying. It gets heavy at times, saints. You don't deny it. I can't deny it. It gets heavy at times. We struggle with it. Struggling trying to bring it along with us because it's so heavy. Jesus, in this one little example, he said, I've given you a way that I'll carry you. I'll carry you. That donkey carried Jesus, our Savior. As he began that trip, as he began to go through the streets of that city, you read different accounts of things that took place during that week. We read 
of that little woman with the alabaster box. Her pain was heavy. Things in her life would bring her down at times. She would be so alone at times. She didn't know what to do. She seemingly had no way out, but this man called Jesus. My Lord and my God. This man called Jesus came by one day. She had an alabaster box full of precious ointment. Very expensive. I believe in her mind she began to think, oh, if I can just if I can just anoint this man called Jesus with this precious oil. You see what God is looking for today. What is precious to you in your life? What is the most precious thing in your life that you cling to and you hold on to? I'm not talking about now your burdens. I'm not talking about the heartaches. I'm talking about the precious thing. Not 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 God. God himself, but that natural, tangible thing that's precious to you. God is saying, that's all I'm asking you to do. It just bring me the thing that's precious to you. The most precious thing in your life, God said, bring it to me and let me show you how I can take the most precious thing that you ever thought could be in your life. And I can make it become something That will change your life. You see, because in people's lives today, some things, some things that are precious to people are are just the most ridiculous things that I could ever think of. You know, I mean, some people, some people, their, their automobile is the most precious thing. They, they wax it. And, and I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest, in, in my younger days, Judy, Judy will tell you, in, in my younger days, I, w- I would wash my car two and three times a week. I raise the hood. I take that degreaser. I, I, rem- I remember one time, Brother Mac Deaver. Some of you folks that, that went to the church with, know Brother Mac and Nancy Deaver. I remember one time years ago, back in the 80s, I, I, had, I had a Cadillac, a black Cadillac. Mm-hmm. Shine like a brand new penny. Why? Because I washed that thing and waxed it. Every week I waxed it. I washed that motor. Brother Clyde remembers that black cattle. I washed that motor every week. Max said, one day at church, for some reason, I was at church and I had the hood for some reason. I don't remember why. Maybe I was showing it to Max just to show him. But he said, how in the world... Do you keep that engine so clean? He says, there's not a spot of dirt on it. How do you keep it clean? You know what I said? I wash it. But it was precious to me. I love to spray that purple power on there. and Let it set from, rinse it off. And man, it looked like a brand new engine. I love to open the doors and Clean the door jams all around. I open the trunk and vacuum the trunk. Make sure the trunk lid's clean. Well, I wouldn't do that today for nothing. <laughs> but I used to do it. I mean, clean it. I'd get out there and and shine the wheels, the tires, and and I always I always go down at the tire barn at Brother Roger Morgan, and I still buy my tires from him. And I say, I want me some of them. Some of them white wall tires on my Cadillac that's got that white wall on them. He said, well, I'll have to order them. Order them. Order them for me because I want the white walls. And I would get that white wall cleaner and spray it around and clean them up. Put the tire shine on it and sit back because it was precious to me. This ointment was precious not only to this woman but to everyone that 
knew she had it because it was it was such an an expensive ointment of that day. But she took it and anointed Jesus' feet, anointed him with it, took her hair, wiped it down. And here come the naysayers. Uh, here come the belly acres. Saying, why did she do this? She could have sold that ointment for a lot of money and fed the poor. Done other things. My God in heaven, what better thing would there be to do than to anoint the King of kings and the Lord of lords? You anoint him with that, with that precious ointment. You see, because that ointment was, was nothing compared to what Jesus could do. Je- Jesus, Jesus could speak a word. And feed the poor. She needed something. That was so precious. That it would touch. Jesus. Not only his feet. But would touch his heart. You see. God's not asking you to give up. The precious thing in your life. He's just asking you to bring it to him and present it. That's why little babies, we haven't had uh, Aubrey's yet, but that's why little babies, we come and bring them and present them. We dedicate our children as babies unto the Lord. Why? Because they're precious. So precious that we want to give them to God, my Lord. Present them to Him. Give them. That's what He's asking us to do. What is precious to you? What means the most to you? What does it take in your life to get you to understand? when you're going through the darkest day of your life, you still lift up your hands and say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. For He is God. His mercy endures forever and ever 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 it never ceases to exist. Toward closer to that day that they hung Jesus. And I want to tell you something today. I'll, I'll preach about it again next week, probably because it's Easter. But it didn't just nail Jesus to the cross. They nailed everything that you and I have ever done that's wrong. They nailed it to the cross. Because Jesus took upon him our infirmities, our sins, our sickness, our weakness. I want you to listen how close this is as they begin the Passover meal. I, 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 just, I just feel something in here this morning. I feel something different. I, 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 I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit today. Feel this precious ointment 
that ointment, that anoints, that precious ointment, that fragrance of God. Because when they got ready, when they got ready to prepare and get ready for that, that Passover meal, because the Passover meal was a very important part of, of the heritage because it was set up all the way back in Moses' day. I'm not going to go through that. But we know, we know. We know what it done. Because God told Moses, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, Something about, something about the, when the voice of God begins to speak unto you. Something about it, saints. I want you to notice how closely this is to the day that he rode into Jerusalem. Because now, he says, I want you to go. I believe over in the, in the 14th chapter, I believe it is. I want you to go find this particular person. Now, listen now. I want you to find this person that's carrying water. A pitcher of water and follow this person. I'm I, I mentioned last night in, in, in the prison, I I'm I'm tr I'm trying today to, to bring but, but because I would I would much rather do this as, as as a as a drama than me preach it because I could get it across to you much better. But I just don't have the people people to do it. But I promise you, it's coming. I promise you, it's coming. If I got a word from him yesterday, I got a word. I could, I could do a much better job at, at, at this story in a drama. I think back over the years, from all the way back when I was 16 years old, the many, many, many years that we did dramas, and I played the part of Jesus. I, I, can, I can quote every bit of it because I've done it so many years. In, in, those, in those dramas, I, I, I would have, I always got stuck in, I say stuck, but it wasn't stuck with me. I, I, I always got got assigned, you know, 120 to 150 lines, and everybody else got 20 or 30. And I'm saying, i got to remember all of them lines. But see, what I didn't realize, realize and understand, God was preparing me. But Jesus said, go and find this person. Carrying a pitcher of water. Now look again. Look again what he's saying. A pitcher of water. What did we say just last week? He said, Out of your belly shall flow rivers. Now I want, I want to preach an evangelistic sermon this morning and jump and scream and holler, but I'm I just making myself not do it. Out of your belly. You see how he takes what he's already told us? He's saying, follow the water. We don't want to follow the water because we're so wrapped up in, in our baggage. Huh? He's saying, follow the water. Follow that 
anointing. And with a package so heavily behind us, we lose sight of the water because it's so far ahead of us. Now because of the package. And you see, we become so accustomed of the struggle and of the heaviness of it. But you know what? When we get that accustomed to it, we don't realize. Listen, listen closely. We don't realize when it starts getting lighter because We've allowed it to become part of our everyday life. And we go. Jesus said, follow that water and work. you'll find it goes into a certain home, a certain place, certain place. And when it goes there, you go in. Bible says, I'll go before you and make a way when there seems to be no way. I'll go before you. Prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. But we forget about his promises because of the baggage. Because of that load we've been carrying so long. Oh, we can believe it for our neighbors. We can believe it for everyone around us. But we are so accustomed Carrying it. It's part of our lives now. It's part of our getting up and laying down. It's part of our struggle every day. How you doing, brother, sister? I'm making it. I'm making it by the grace of God. I'm making it. I'm 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 pulling my weight around. I'm I'm making it, but blessed God, I'll I'm fighting too thin. I understand that. We've all been there. Understand it. We drag it around. Drag it around. And God's saying, go to that house, follow that water. Follow that anointing. Do you remember the time that you didn't have to put out a bulletin on every street corner and 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 beat your brains out trying to get somebody to come to a revival meeting or to a special service? Why? Because people begin to follow the anointing. They begin to follow and thirst after that water. People today are dragging so much luggage around, so much baggage, they've lost sight of it. They've lost that desire. Jesus said, when you find it, go into that house and tell the man, Say, who is the, who who owns the house in our everyday language today? Who owns the house? And say, where is, listen to what Jesus said. He gave them specific instruction. He said, he said, ask them, where is the guest chamber? You know what he said? He said, because the guest chamber is already prepared. Uh, Jesus said, get ready or make ready. You got you to gotta understand what he said. First he said, it's already prepared, so you don't have to go prepare it. He said, just make ready for the Passover. Make ready for that Jesus is telling you today. He's telling you and I today. I've made a guest chamber for you. I've made a way for you. I've made a place for you. Specific. He says, I've already made it. I've already prepared it. 
I've already put a table there. The table has healing on it. The table has deliverance. The table has peace of mind. The table has strength for your body. The table has peace, joy, and happiness. He says, just get ready. He told them to make ready, but he's telling you today to get ready. Get ready for that power of God. Get ready for a Holy Ghost move. Get ready for a Holy Ghost invasion. Get ready, my friends, for a time of your life. Get ready. Get ready. Quit dragging this thing around that's been so heavy, that's been so weighted you down for so long. Get ready for a Holy Ghost breakthrough in your life. Get ready. Make ready. Because in closing, I want you to understand something. I want you to understand something. Punch your neighbor and say, listen to what the man's saying. Listen to what God is saying today. Because that thing, this bag right here it's got some stains on it where it was, I took it to the Africa last time huh. but you see what you've been dragging around for so long all the heaviness all the burdens and the sickness and everything else I want you to notice something Jesus said, open it. Well, that ain't supposed to be in there. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a picture of horses. Oh. Who made that? I don't know where it came from. What does it say, Brother Norman? I don't have my glasses on. I promise you, I didn't even know it was in there, and I didn't put it there. Oh, well, if I did, I don't remember. What's it say there? I promise you. I just, I just went up there and got that out of, out of the, out of the, out of the deal this morning up there because I knew it was in there. I didn't know this picture was there. It, so it, it goes right along. My, it, it says, "What?" Well, I don't have my glasses on. It says. Ye are set free. John, what's the scripture? Tell Jennifer to put them up on the. Jennifer, put these up on the board up there. I got to. John chapter 8. Okay. What God is saying. Then said Jesus to the Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my word, uh-huh. then are you my disciples. 31, now verse 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What other verse is it? Verse 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. They're free. What I'm, what, I promise you, people, I promise you, if I planted this in here, the, 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 the Lord going to punish me big time. I didn't, I didn't put it there today or any, soon. I, I must have put it there at some time. But what I was going to tell you went right along with this. You're pulling it around when there ain't nothing in it. Ain't nothing there. You thought there was burdens and heartaches and sickness and disease. There ain't nothing there because the Son has made you free. He has made you free. My God in heaven, my Lord Jesus. 
Huh? I ain't never in my life. I may have a running spell now. Huh? You see how God works? I, I know I must have put that in there uh, when I came. But maybe somebody gave it to him in Africa. I don't know. And I just left it in there. I don't know where it came from. I don't remember. But I had to put it in there at some time. Or Jesus might have put it in there this morning. I don't know, but somebody put it there. All I know is I didn't know it was there. You see, God, God's wanting you to understand whom he has set free is free indeed. He sets you free. What we've been carrying around and pulling around, we've, 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 th- we've thought that all that mess was there. And Jesus said, look inside. It's not there. You're pulling it around. You're struggling like it's still weighted down. But look inside. It's not there. Whom the Son has set free. Now see, you need to, you need, you need, you need to capture what happened here right now. Because this wasn't me. If you go out of this building today and let this leave your mind, then I, I'll say your, your mind's at Wally World or somewhere. I told you I felt something different around here. This morning. I had no idea about this. You say, what's, what's it got to do with that picture? It's got a whole lot to do with that picture. He sets you free today. He sets you free today. Palm Sunday is not a dreadful, weary thing. It's the beginning of the time that Jesus made a way. You know why? I, I know I'll preach it again next week. Because everything that was in there, Brother Norman, sickness, disease, oppression, depression, I could name them all day long. He nailed them to the cross. My Lord and my God, nailed them to the cross. When they were nailed to the cross with him. I can't get over that. It may not touch it. I can't get over that, Brother Norman. I can't get over that. Come say it, Brother Norman. Come say it. It's a prophecy. Tell them. A prophecy to this horse is, you may not see it, but there's a white horse in front. My God. God's going to come riding out on a white stallion. Hallelujah. And we're going to be with him. Hallelujah. The armies of heaven are going to be with him. And he's going to set this world free. Glory, my God in heaven. Amen. Free of disease. Free of heartache. Free. Free. Hallelujah. Who the Son sets free. Free is free indeed. Close it, brother. Norman. Hallelujah! <clears throat> I tell you what, I just want you to stand to your feet and give God praise this morning. I tell you what, uh, Hallelujah! The Holy Spirit is here today. He told us something through this. Hallelujah! Get it in your mind. Don't worry about the election. Don't worry about what's coming up. Honey, Jesus is coming. Amen. And we're getting ready to leave here. But before we do, God's going to show Himself. Hallelujah. Through His church. Amen. We're going to see a mighty move of God. Hallelujah. I am sick and tired of of listening to all the junk. I'm tired of listening uh, to all the political stuff. But praise God, God's coming. And He's coming in the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You need prayer this morning, step out. Hallelujah. The anointing's here. Hallelujah. The pastor will pray for you. Step out. Hallelujah. you got some baggage on you. Hallelujah. You need to get rid of this morning, step out. Hallelujah. God will set you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you ladies gather around. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, God. Mm. Yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, glory. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, God. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bob, will you come forward? Okay, Bob. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory. Anyone else? Anyone else? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone else? Glory to God. Now just glorify God, will you? Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and worship God this morning. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. God, we thank you, Lord, for the message this morning. God, we thank you, Lord, because of, Lord, of the prophecy that came forth, God, out of that picture. Lord, we know, God, it wasn't man, but, God, it was you. Hallelujah. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, uh, touch hearts and touch lives. Uh, Lord, minister to every need. Uh, Lord, we speak healing. Uh, we speak deliverance uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, those that are viewing by the Internet today, God, somebody uh, is receiving a touch right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Now give him praise. A big hallelujah praise offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. May God bless you this morning. Shake hands with one another. We say uh, just be here tonight. Be much in prayer. God is in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Shake hands with one another, and God bless you.